Hello my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. Depression, anxiety, low mood, PTSD, trauma, all of these serious conditions are extremely common in today's society amongst all age groups, all sexes. It doesn't discriminate at all. And as someone who has suffered um, from an early age, I suppose, with mental health issues, which led me into addiction, which is obviously the main topic of this channel. I want to share with you today some very quick tips of how I, um, I suppose, keep my mental health or my mood on an even keel. And before I go any further, just let me say I'm not a doctor. I mean, a lot of these, everything I say on this channel uh, is based on my own experiences and research that I've done, uh, most of it's in, based in science, and things I've tried which have worked, things have not worked, everything's documented on the channel, so please subscribe, it just helps more people see the videos. Um, so first of all, I just want to say that I'm not a doctor, and obviously there are serious mental health conditions, bipolar and PTSD, and traumas of all sorts, which need professional help. There's no doubt about that. For myself, I, I was diagnosed with um, depression, which was in the 90s, I suppose. And my addiction was uh, quite well advanced by then with opiates and alcohol. And they put me on Effexa, which is a venaflaxine, which is an antidepressant drug. However, as the years have gone on, I've come to realise that um, I suppose I'm the same as everyone else with what's going on in the world and the pressures that are, are on us now uh, from everywhere because we're bombarded by the media and news and bad news constantly, um, then mental health becomes, a, becomes an issue for nearly everybody and everyone's in search of the elusive happiness, if you like. Um, and I searched for it outside of myself for many years, um, predominantly with drugs and alcohol changing my mood, the way I felt, uh, seeking acceptance, confidence, and all the things that I thought those things gave me. In fact, they took away from me and, uh, and took everything away in the end, uh, which I had to rebuild. So here's some, there's just some tips here for you that I do. And I do all these things on a, on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm like yourselves, you know, I, I wake up some mornings and for inexplicable reasons, my mood is uh, low and, and um, anxious and butterflies in the stomach and the sweats and the palpitations and all of these things come upon me. Um, and I have to give a, you know, take a deep breath and pull myself together a bit and practice these things that I, I'm now talking about on here. I think the first thing to remember is a, a mindset, really. Because when you're in the depths of addiction, trying to get sober, when you're in early sobriety, and indeed later on with years of sobriety, these feelings um, and, and the, the stuff that happens around your life will happen to you because life is life, isn't it? So uh, there's a saying, you know, live life on life's terms. And it's taken me a long, long time, probably because I'm older now, that I've come to realise that fighting that, is, is, it's just not worth it. And... Um, I used, to, I used to get very angry and when things didn't go my way, and I, I sort of perceived it as it was all against me and poor me. And when in fact it was just life happening around me and I, that I couldn't cope with or handle, if you like. Didn't have the right tools to do it, I suppose. The thing is, the mindset you have to have, uh, because all these feelings can be overwhelming, it can drive you backwards and back into addiction sometimes if you don't get a handle on them. You know, because you have to, you have to, as soon as you feel these feelings, whatever they are, whether it's sort of um, sadness, grief, low mood, anxiety, um, you know, all these things can, can, you can wake up with them in the morning, you know, and for inexplicably, as I said, the, the mindset to have is this will pass. And I know that sounds trite and, uh, and easy, but it's fact, you know, uh, what, however bad things are and, however bad they are for you at the moment. And I know so many people in the world at the moment are struggling just to survive and pay the bloody heating bills and decide whether to pay the heating or have a meal, you know, which is in today's society is just a disgrace, really. But it is what it is, isn't it? You know, so 
that anxiety can be upon you, but it will pass. Life goes on, as the saying goes. Those three words are magical. Life goes on, it does. And the feelings will pass. Nothing is permanent, everything is temporary. That's the first thing to get your head round. And then there's, um, there's a lot of practical things I do as well. Um, you know, I supplement on a daily basis with three or four things which I believe have certainly helped me anyway, natural products that um, have kept this depression, low mood, anxiety, whatever you want to call it, at bay. Um, on a daily basis, I take 1,000 milligrams of cod liver oil, good, good um, omega-3 basically, EPA and DHA. Um, as long as you get that 1,000 milligrams into you and it's a natural product, that helps your brain, it lubricates your brain, it helps with mood, inflammation in the body, all sorts of things. It's, it has great benefits and the cardiac benefits it has. I take a very, very good um, strong vitamin B supplement, which is really good for the nerves, um, and with alcoholism, B vitamins are, are depleted anyway. And um, a good B supplement is essential right into, you know, permanently probably to be safe. But um, certainly it's helped me with mood and ner the nervous system and everything else. It works in synergy with other things. Magnesium, I started taking um, magnesium carbonate, I think it is. That's really important. Do some research on that. 80% of the world's population is short of magnesium. It is so important for the brain, nervous system, mood, sleep, because lack of sleep, again, is so, um, it impacts the mood so much. If you don't get a good night's sleep, your mood is immediately low, your energy is low. Sleep hygiene has become a massive multi-million pound sort of business, if you like, um, to find that elusive, you know, sleep. For me, it's about um, that supplementation, so magnesium, B vitamins, they're all good, relaxing. A nice um, sort of chamomile, valerian tea before I go to bed. No uh, um, phones or screens in the bedroom two hours before. I like read for an hour before I sleep. Blackout curtains, all of these things. Deep breathing, relaxation, they've all helped with my sleep and uh, my energy and mood have been considerably elevated by that. So that's magnesium, um, B vitamins, omega-3s, all those things are really important to supplement with. I take also a strong vitamin C, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every day, another vegan natural product, um, which gives um, my immune system a good boost. I think that's really important as well, particularly if you're exercising a lot as I do, to keep that immune system strong. So every morning I have one of these. Now that doesn't look very appetising, does it? But I promise you it tastes lovely. And um, I have a Nutribullet. So I, the ingredients for that, and then you can look back on this video, but I'll just run through them quickly, what I put in every day. And it may sound a bit strange, but I put in frozen peas, which um, gives me a good protein vitamin C hit. Um, I'll put in kale, fresh kale, fresh spinach, broccoli, um, I put in pumpkin seeds, which have a fantastic protein, magnesium and, and oil benefit. Um, I put in chia seeds, which are amazing. Um, look those up. Uh, I put in blueberries, which give me a fantastic antioxidant. Frozen bananas. So I buy bananas just under ripe because they burn slower in your body. Um, freeze them down. They go in. Water. I top it up with water. What else do I put in there? Sometimes I put strawberries in there as well, just to sweeten it up a bit. But I try and just to keep it to blueberries. I don't like too much fructose in it. or um, And that gives me a, um, a massive green hit, if you like, of vitamins. And, uh, and I also, sorry, I put uh, oats in it, porridge oats, just the raw oats in it before I mix it in the Nutribullet. And that just gives me a, a, some carbs as well for energy. Keeps me full all day. So I've got everything going on in there, vitamins, minerals, carbs, antioxidants, all, all sorts of stuff, oils, protein, um, it's all in there. I don't need protein powder and stuff, I, I get it all in that, that I need anyway. The other thing for the mood, um, which is basic stuff, isn't it? Exercise. Um, I know sometimes you wake up in the morning and you just can't be asked. You've got you know, no energy for all the reasons I've just explained. Um, but 
you've, it's about discipline. I talked about discipline in the last video. Have a look back at the last few videos. They're all about qualities and values which have been important with my sobriety. It's only ever my truth on here, by the way. You don't have to agree with it or do it. Or I'm, I'm only sharing what's worked for me and what doesn't work for me. Um, but it, it's been really important to my sobriety for these things extra. Um, you know, so um, exercise is paramount. I force myself to do it every day. Obviously, if I'm overtired and I know my body needs a rest, um, then I'll take a day off and have a day's rest because we all need that. Um, but I won't slip backwards and stuff myself with sugar or, you know, I'll keep myself active mentally um, through that day, through that rest day, um, just resting my body. And that's really important, obviously. Finally, the most important thing of all, I think, um, when it comes to mental health and all that is talking. Now, I make no secrets to the fact I'm in the fellowship, a fellowship. And um, for me, sharing my feelings with like-minded people who think the same way as I do, have been through far worse, uh, most of them, than I have, and um, experienced the same sort of things that I have has been invaluable. That sharing of feelings uh, every single moment I can. Um, and if I can't do it with them, I'll do it with people in, in groups I've made friends with, um, friends, relatives, family. It's so important. Men don't talk about mental health. Um, the suicide rate amongst men is incredible. Just look it up. It's because it's perceived as a sign of weakness sometimes to talk. In fact, it's a sign of great strength to talk and you about your feelings and ask for help from people. And that's the most important message of all on this video, to ask for help when you need it. Because for me, it saved my life. Um, going to these meetings, going to meetings and sharing the way I feel every day and learning every day from people um, who have been through so much and think the same way as I do has been the number one uh, most important thing in my sobriety. So I hope that video has been of some help to you. Um, I always say at the end of these videos, Carpe Diem and Memento Mori. Carpe Diem sees the day. Memento Mori, remember you're mortal. Life is short. Um, you know, we only get a blink on this planet. And I've come to realise that at 62 years old, that every single moment, especially moments with loved ones, are special. Um, and just be kind to people. People, kindness is something that is sadly lacking in the world today. A lot of hate, no kindness. Spread a bit of kindness. Um, it's all impacts on the ripple effect. Much love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.